Greetings everyone, welcome to Darkland. I'm Zin and this will be a character creation and party building guide for Darklands. Darklands is an old school uh, role playing game by Microprose uh, and it's from uh, 1992. It takes place in um, medieval Germany and is uh, quite realistic and uh, historically accurate and it has a rather complex system and it's uh, somewhat uh, difficult to get into. So I'm going to explain uh, some of its uh, mechanics uh, to help you create a capable band of adventurers. This is the character creation screen and as you can see the game comes with uh, pre-generated characters which uh, I'm going to add to the party and explain their stats. So here is a char character sheet and these are your basic uh, attributes. Endurance and uh, strength are for uh, fighting obviously and they have a lot of uh, importance. First, uh, endurance and strength together determines your carrying capacity. The two uh, added together is the amount of uh, pounds you can carry. If they uh, go lower than your load, then you are get uh, you will get uh, heavy load and overloaded and uh, that makes you fight uh, worse. Endurance and strength are also your health, uh, general health. Um, lesser wounds um, decrease your uh, endurance and uh, penetrating serious wounds uh, decrease your strength. Uh, well, endurance uh, heals um, automatically over time, but it still heals quite slowly. And the strength the damage uh, takes a lot of time and requires uh, attention to heal up, which is actually quite uh, realistic if you think about it. In, in the Middle Ages, the uh, wounds were a, a terrible thing. So these two are needs to be really high for every character. As you can see, well, the starting party is rather weak from this uh, point because, well, it's all right, but not too great. Agility is not that important, but it's still nice to have for uh, fighting characters. It uh, mostly determines your defense and how well you can avoid uh, getting hit. But most of your defense will come from your armor, so you go for damage mitigation instead of uh, avoid avoidance. Perception is uh, perhaps the least important uh, attribute. It helps you spot some traps and hidden stuff, but um, overall it's the least uh, needed. Intelligence is, is only needed for uh, your alchemist and like a uh, academic guy but uh, he needs to uh, max it out, absolutely. And uh, least uh, charisma, it's for uh, your leader, obviously, and it, uh, he needs to max it out as well. It ha really helps you uh, with interacting uh, lords and basically every everyone you meet. Divine favor, now this is a... Uh, this will translate to mana points or magic points, but uh, since this is a historical game, there is no magic in it. Instead, you resort to alchemical uh, stuff and uh, praying to saints and invoking their power. And that's uh, where divine favor comes into play. Well, this just uh, shows your gear. And here are the weapon skills. Uh, at the start it's nice to have uh, one uh, weapon skill uh, at uh, a decent uh, amount. And they are going to increase uh, by themselves by practice, so you don't need to put all points into these. Overall I think uh, polearm weapons are the best. Then edged uh, and impact weapons. And, uh, I think flails are the worst melee weapons and it's also nice to have some uh, 
ranged skills, but not really necessary. Now one guy needs to have a really high uh, alchemy, because it uh, lets you make some strong uh, alchemical potions, which are very useful for buffing up, and you can sell them for a good profit as well, so one alchemist is recommended. Religious training and virtue, these two determine your uh, success rate uh, at uh, invoking saints' powers, which basically translates to magic in this game, so it's recommended to get as much as possible for every character. They sometimes increase by themselves, but it's kind of uh, rare, so you must uh, pump these two for everyone. Uh, speak common, well I guess it's uh, speak German then, is important for the leader. As you can see, 40 is a decent amount. Combined with charisma it will open a lot of uh, doors and possibilities for your band of adventurers. And last, uh, speak Latin and read write are important for the academic guy, like uh, the alchemist and to some extent for everyone uh, speak latin at least so you can understand the um, masses and prayers and re uh, help you regain uh, divine favor also re religion uh, helps you uh, regain your divine favor faster over time healing healing uh, is uh, very important for one guy so you only need one healer, but he needs it to be pretty high. Because um, otherwise it would take ages to uh, recover from any serious wounds. Artifice is uh, lock picking and trap disarming all in one. You see this guy has uh, at, uh, a decent amount of it. It's uh, no, um, not hurt to have one guy who has pretty high but not really necessary. Stealth, streetwise riding and woodwise, these uh, help you in some situations. I'd say stealth is the most useful from these. It's okay to not uh, put points into them, but uh, sometimes they uh, can be useful as well. Now this uh, guys come with, uh, as you can see, pretty good uh, equipment. Unique equipment, you wouldn't get these from uh, starting new characters, so let's just say that uh, our band of adventurers are going to inherit this uh, from uh, these guys. It's, well, okay, maybe a bit of an exploit, but it will uh, save uh, save some uh, grinding to do. So let's just um, let's just take their equipment. It it saves a few hours of uh, grinding for you. I just uh, delete these uh, guys and let's see to the character creation. Well, you start uh, at uh, a an age of zero and you have to enter your name. Let's uh, try to come up with some German sounding names like uh, Zin Zintosh von uh, Schulzmeier. And uh, I'm going to create a guy who is uh, very strong and durable and good at uh, fighting. Now you can um, select, you must select a social class, like background, ranging from nobility, the highest social standing, to rural commoners who are pretty tough guys uh, working on the fields all day. Um, so I say for this guy, he was a rural commoner actually. 
That's why he's so strong. These uh, these are your experience points. You get to allocate these to your attributes. Uh, you see peasants get uh, 97 as opposed to nobles who only get uh, 89. So almost uh, 10 points advantage for the commoner. And uh, his wood wise and stealth is also better than noble. So it's pretty easy, you actually just max the first three at the age of 15 and be done with it. Now for a fighting sword you have several options. He can be a soldier which increases uh, your weapon skills by a lot and your strength and endurance as well. But the laborer also increases your strength and endurance and it's better for religion, virtue and these uh, miscellaneous uh, skills. Uh, and on top of that, uh, the laborer gets more experience points as well. He gets a lot. And well, there is the peasant who is uh, strong and durable as well, but uh, overall the best, uh, strongest and hardest hitting guys uh, are laborers in this game, at least. So these uh, skills at the start you can safely put all points into them and you still have a lot of points so uh, pole arm weapons and perhaps impact weapons are the best so i'm going to pump those and go to my next uh, occupation which of course it's boring laborer but still uh, it gets the best uh, best of the stuff to me. Woodwise, streetwise, uh, stealth. The last for the artificer is going to be another guy for me. So let's work on my weapon skills. Okay, impact weapons, and he's a. Uh, uh, 25 so the best uh, starting age is uh, 30 in my opinion so let's keep uh, increasing these skills now this, there you go and we already have a, a really strong uh, combat character with us who can also help us on the streets and uh, the woods, if uh, we ever need uh, that. Another other choice for um, a fighting sword is uh, Kastel von Richthofen. And he is actually of noble birth. And uh, that, that is because at the end uh, you can become a knight even if you are a bit less uh, agile than the peasant you can be a knight um, by uh, being a noble noble heir so we choose that and the knights are best with uh, pole arm weapons i think riding of course and they have to be re uh, pr quite religious and virtuous as well and they are good with bows, thanks to, to all those hunting and uh, other uh, such uh, recreational activities. So just uh, keep being a noble heir. Religion and virtue are, are extremely important for them, as well as riding. And now you get to choose to be a knight, which increases your strength and endurance. That's good. Po your pole arm skill, virtue, religion, and riding. And that's basically your knight, who also comes with uh, his own equipment. They start with the best equipment in the game, as you can see. And we will create a our other two members in the next uh, video.